Good morning, LinkedIn. So today's video is on becoming an expert or being an expert within your field. So let's talk about fitness specifically. So we see lots and lots of coaches, personal trainers on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, all quoting themselves or calling themselves an expert in their field. So we just want to kind of clarify what an expert in fitness looks like and how you can kind of separate the the chaff from the wheat, I suppose would be a term to use. So when you're looking at a personal trainer or a coach, is that person very young? Is that person telling you that they are an expert in their field, but you know, they're 21, 22. Now, if you go by the, the, the kind of, you know, the, the, the quote that it takes a 10,000 hours to become an expert, if you're 21 years of age, how can you have become an expert in your field? It's, it's, it's impossible unless you started when you was 11. So that's kind of like a, a telltale sign to be looking out for if someone's calling themselves an expert and they're very, very young. Now, obviously, there are exceptions to the rule. There are people that are geniuses and people that have, you know, been practicing golf since they were three. Of course they are. But when it comes become talking about an industry like fitness, it's very difficult to become an expert by that age. Now you could have, of course, of course, become, you know, been an athlete and trained yourself a lot and be an expert at training yourself and training yourself to be fit and strong. And you can post body shots up and images of you doing crazy training. It still doesn't make you an expert. It makes you someone that's an expert at getting yourself in shape. Now, newsflash, not everybody's the same. And... The type of training that you do as someone that's an athlete or someone that has been an athlete is completely different to someone that works in an office or someone that works in the market or whatever it is they do. So that's one thing to look out for is people that are very young and calling themselves fitness experts. Now let's talk about fitness industry specifically because it's, it's an industry and forgive me if this is the same in every industry, but there are lots and lots of different elements different focuses within the fitness industry whether it be weight loss whether it be injury prevention whether it be strength hypertrophy so bodybuilding whatever it might be there's lots and lots of different elements lots of different things that you can be an expert in now when you go on somebody's profile linkedin instagram whatever it might be and it says i'm an expert in weight loss strength training pain relief hypertrophy bodybuilding it's not possible it really isn't possible unless you're 60 years of age and you've done you're an expert in every single area and you've practiced and trained thousands upon thousands of people it's not even possible you can't do it so when you're looking out for someone that says they're an expert look at their specific niche look at the thing that they have focused on to become an expert in now we know people that are experts in pain pain relief experts in reducing inflammation in the body, experts in weight loss, experts in bodybuilding. Now we wouldn't claim to be any of those things unless we were. But within the fitness industry, it's full of people who want to be experts in everything. And it's very, very difficult. Now the next thing to look at, the final thing to look at, to make this video not too long, not too boring, is to look at who they work with. So when you first start as a personal trainer, and this is talking, talking from someone that's done this since there was 17 years of age when you start as a personal trainer there are clients that you generally attract they're clients that are a little bit simpler cases people that you know are a little bit overweight and want to lose weight people that are younger they haven't got pain issues or back pain or any kind of underlying health issues don't need any blood testing don't need any kind of specific um, assessment that you know a deep assessment on where they are and, and kind of their issues they're kind of simpler cases now when you start to deal with like we do ceos older older people that have pushed their bodies to the limit that have done years of not sleeping years of being highly stressed years of being entertained pushing their body and their mind and everything to the limit for their business that is a much more complicated case there are a lot more moving parts it's a bigger more complicated jigsaw puzzle now i tell you without any doubt in my mind that somebody that is has just started out as a personal trainer or has done it for a couple of years they're not going to be able to handle that type of client there's too many elements unknown elements that need to be tested that need to be assessed that need to be 
considered when creating a program for these type of people. So just a couple of bits of advice there. When you are going to choose a fitness expert or a personal trainer or a coach, just a couple of bits to look out for, especially if you'd consider yourself, I don't know, a more complicated client, somebody that's got more demands on them, somebody that's got more potential issues, you know, diary times, flexibility, pain, poor sleep, all those kind of more complicated issues. Just make sure that when you do choose a personal trainer or a coach, you choose somebody that is an actual expert, a real expert, someone that real, really knows what they're talking about and has a team of experts around them, not just a college level personal trainer that's saying they are. Have a great day, guys. Hope you've enjoyed my little walk around the, the square here. See you later.